let food be thy medicine, but not just any food. <laughs> so I have a confession and I'm a bit embarrassed to say this publicly, but here goes. Most of the time I don't eat very well and I don't often prepare nourishing meals for my family. Ah, uh, I am a product of the packaged food generation. My mom took full advantage of newly created packaged foods designed to make life easier for the housewife of the 60s and 70s. I never considered that it might not be healthy. In fact, it could actually be harmful. I don't know if you've ever heard of sodium phosphate or silicone dioxide. Now those are just two hazardous additives used in a popular box of macaroni and cheese. Yes, I have fixed macaroni and cheese for my children, but not all packaged foods are bad. So, you know, we've got that, but you'd probably have to be a chemist to know what's okay and what's not. But here's one thing that we do all know that fresh foods are best, specifically colorful fruits and vegetables. That's why we are hosting a free five day Facebook event called Eat the Rainbow. We are a group of health and wellness coaches and enthusiasts who are doing our best to stay as healthy as possible. And if you're like me, there is still room for some improvement. In fact, just preparing for this event, I got to look at what's stopping me from eating more of a variety of fruits and vegetables. And I discovered that it's old stories like, I don't have enough time to cook healthy foods. And then the other one is, well, I don't know how to cook. You know, my mom cooked packaged foods. So, but I could have taken the time to learn the only thing that's so the only thing that's going to get me to change is having a strong why. Now, if that sounds familiar, it's because it is. It's what's behind every decision that we make, whether we're aware of it or not. Now, while this event, Eat the Rainbow, isn't designed to be a personal development course, you may find it helpful to explore your own stories and create why you want to make a change. And as a community, we're here for you to do that if you choose. Now, Here's what you are for sure going to get from this free event. You're going to get health benefits, nutritional education, community and support, great recipes, fun and engagement with daily prizes, motivation and accountability, sharing and socializing, and what the heck, let's add personal growth. So now I'm going to introduce to you one of our other coaches, Coach Shelly Marenka, with her thoughts about the event. Hey, Robin, thank you. That was really great and very helpful. And I'm really excited. I mean, I would come just for the prizes, you know, I would come just for the prizes. And it rem reminds me of when my kids were younger and I've been healthy most of my life. Um, but, you know, the Happy Meals were all the rage. And so once I decided that we weren't going to eat fast food anymore, um, you know, we'd pick up the kids after school and there was a McDonald's really close and mom, can we go to McDonald's and McDonald's? I said, okay, but we'll just go in and we'll get the happy, we'll get the happy meal without the food. And we're just going to get the toy because that's what they wanted was the prize. They wanted the toy. So when we would drive through, they thought I was crazy. Like you don't want the food. You just want the toy. I said, yeah, that's right. I just want the toy. So anybody who just wants the prize, who wants the toy, <laughs> go ahead and come because even if you eat one red pepper a day, you're moving the dial towards eating a healthier life. And, um, you know, as Robin said, that she grew up uh, in a time where convenience was king. And that's what uh, the moms of the household were doing. Well, in fact, I grew up in a different household. And my mom, uh, we probably didn't do that because we couldn't afford it. But we had, you know, two kids, four kids, eight kids. And it was costly to feed um, kids, but more costly to go out. And actually, you know, it's turned back around. That's the same that we experienced today, right? You will actually save money by joining Eat the Rainbow because it's more costly to eat out today than it is to eat in. And here are the benefits from eating the rainbow and actually eating a diet that is healthy. Uh, there's so many great benefits. One, it'll save money. You will save money. But also when we eat healthy, you guys, um, and we learn to cook, and it can be a fun process, it can be a sacred process, 
We benefit so much from eating healthy foods because we get more fiber in our diet. We get more nutrient dense foods in our diet when we're cooking at home. We get cleaner protein because we actually get to choose um, the protein that we're eating in restaurants, eh, not so much. Um, and so eating healthy actually helps us actually feel better too. It actually regulates our mood. It regulates our stress. It regulates the ability to be able to focus. And these are just the upfront things that you can feel within, you know, an hour after eating to 24 hours. Um, eating foods high in fiber, so we can add fiber to the foods that we eat when we're at home. It improves our, our digestion. And so everything seems to be working a lot better functionally and biologically when we're eating real foods. And the thing is, is that it also, it, you know, eating the rainbow, you'll learn about anti-inflammatory diets because we're going to talk about the foods that are in there and what foods are actually reducing inflammation in the body. When we reduce inflammation in the body, then we have clearer focus, our, our mind is clearer, and, and we actually benefit with gut hormonal health by putting probiotics and foods that actually deliver a lot of nutrition into our body. So the other thing I want to mention before I leave and share it with um, whoever is next is that stress, anxiety, and depression are plaguing, you know, everyone. And we can actually reduce and cope with the amount of stress that we have in our body by the foods that we eat. And we will learn all of this and more in eat the rainbow. And truly, food is thy medicine. It was said long ago by Hipp Hippocrates, thy food is thy medicine. But today, you know, I'm embarrassed to say that the world that we live in is highly processed food. And that's not what Hippocrates was talking about. So Mary, you next? I'm next. Thanks, Shelley. Um, we each have times in our lives where we become aware of what we should be um, doing to take better care of ourselves and our families. And hopefully that is not in a crisis situation. Our habits play a big role in when, where, and what we choose to eat, just like Shelly said. Uh, we eat because we're bored. We eat because we need energy. We eat to improve our mood or our emotions. We eat to satisfy those cravings or for sweet and salty things. Can you relate? I go there um, way too often. For me, it starts with an awareness of those habits, uh, a commitment to change habits, and then create, have creative new ideas to help me change those habits. The other day, I started researching why my plants are getting brown spots and brown tips. And I learned that my tap water with chlorine, fluoride, and excess salts can cause the brown spots in my plants. Purified water, reverse osmosis water, can help to eliminate those spots. That's when I started thinking, what am I putting into my body that may be causing brown spots or disease in my body? I may not see them today, but what about tomorrow? What about my family's bodies? 12 years ago, after prolonged years of stress, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that the doctor said could possibly put me into a wheelchair and take my life. It affected my muscles and my skin. And I said to myself, not on my watch. I will do everything to build my health. This was a process of many things for me. It included changing my diet to eat more fruits and veggies and making them the focus of my family's meals. Um, building health is a daily choice for me and my family. My doctor told me that I would be on medication for the rest of my life. Again, I said to myself, not on my watch. I am on a mission to build my health. And today I am symptom-free and on no medications. I love being a part of this community, Eat the Rainbow, because it helps me to stay on track, create better habits. It gives me simple ways to create healthy meals that my family enjoys. Uh, we also need each other. The five-day challenge group supports each of us 
to eat healthier and to enjoy our food and be a smarter shopper. So let food be thy medicine is now a mantra for me. And I want to pass it to Elena because she's going to tell us a little bit more about how Facebook, this Facebook group will work and what we are going to do to have some fun. Wow. Um, now, are these ladies fun or what? And listen to that, what they're saying and how relevant it is to our own lives, because we can probably relate to what Robin had to say about how she was raised or about how Shelly was raised. I mean, and how she raised her kids. I mean, my goodness, Shelly, that's really amazing that you would buy the Happy Meal, leave the food behind. <laughs> I, I should show everybody the hamburger that I have from McDonald's. Um, since 1996, maybe I'll show it in the Eat the Rainbow group. Still looks the same. The French fries look the same. What does that have to say? But anyhow, fun ladies, we're really wanting to look at the stories that we're telling ourselves. And if you feel challenged, this is going to be the group for you. And we would love for you to invite your friends because um, we all want to collaborate, share, um, combine our wisdom and our knowledge, support maybe where we aren't as strong with, you know, in our habits. So we're there for you. You're there for us. So we are going to be providing you recipes, a tracker for those five days, prizes. I mean, Shelly would come just for the prizes. So, I mean, check out the prizes that we have and eat the rainbow. Um, and you might have questions, and we just want you to go back to the person that invited to you to this um, little chat right now to um, ask any questions that you might have. But we're going to have fun. We're going to learn some things. And you are going to be a part of a wonderful collaboration of women that is going to hold us accountable, be authentic. I mean, these ladies were very authentic and help us to grow. So join us. September the 15th, no, excuse me, the 11th through the 15th. And we look forward to having you. Bye, everyone.